Peak Marlin Surf Ski Race is an annual surf ski race along the stunning coast of East London in the Eastern Cape. The Peak Marlin has been an iconic event on the surf ski calendar for 23 years as a tribute to the late Peak Marlin who was a legend of the paddling world. The race distance is an estimate to be between 17 and 23 kilometers of downwind fun depending on the course and line you take. The start and end will depend on which way the wind is blowing. If the wind is blowing east and there's big swell, the race will start at Glen Eden, where there is a channel which no matter the weather always allows an easy launch. If the wind is blowing east and there is a small swell, the race will start at Yellow Sands. On a very light east wind, the race will end at Nahoon Beach. On a very challenging east wind, the race will end at Orient Beach. If the wind is blowing west, the race will start at Orient Beach. Where thanks to the harbour wall, the big westerly swell will be blocked off and will allow an easy start to your race. If the wind is blowing west, the race will end at Yellow Sands Beach. If you are a new paddler to the Peat Marlin, watch out for these landmarks during the race. Yellow Sands Point adjacent to Yellow Sands Beach must not be cut short because even on small days rogue sets come through and it is not a fun swim in. You will encounter this point no matter the race course so best you become familiar with it. Gnubi Point is a landmark where no matter the start or end location of the race it will be a part of your race. If you are taking a shallow line be sure to go wide Three Sisters Reef is a three rock outcrop halfway between Nahoon Reef and Ganubi Point. This is another landmark where no matter the start or end locations, it will be a part of your race. Be sure to take a wide route around here if you are taking a shallow line as waves do break over the rocks depending on the tide. However, if you are feeling brave enough, you could try your luck and go through two of the sisters. Nahoon Reef which is adjacent to Nahoon Beach, is a landmark which will not be missed. However, whilst paddling you would want to make sure you do give it a miss. Here, make sure you go wide, else it will be a long swim in and your boat will most likely land on the rocks. If it is an east wind and your finish line is at Orient Beach, you are on the home stretch once you have passed Nahoon Reef. To make sure you are taking the correct line, Aim for the three May silos which will be clearly seen on the west bank. This is a summary of the locations previously discussed. Become familiar with them to ensure an optimum race experience. Thanks goes to Shaul and his team for organising this wonderful event. See you all smiling and full of tears on the start line, ready for some downwind bliss.